Hey friends, it's Hope and today I'm here to do my best in books for March. If you guys are new to my channel, first of all, welcome. You guys probably don't know what my best in books video is. It's just an original video that I do on my channel once a month where I talk about some of the best of the best that I read that month and I usually talk about five or six things throughout the month and I will go ahead and link my playlist to the rest of my best in books video down below if you guys are interested in checking those out and I'm just gonna apologize in advance I have like these roof people on top of the roof right now fixing some I guess roofing tiles so if you hear them banging their hammers that's what all that racket is but yeah without further ado let's go ahead and get started the first thing I want to talk about that I usually always talk about are the best female and male characters that I read this month. And for me, the best female character that I read was Selena from Throne of Glass. I did read Throne of Glass and Crown of Midnight and I absolutely adored her character and just the way that she grew, even just throughout the first two books. She is a very strong individual. She doesn't do things that are reckless. She strategizes and she kind of takes matters into her own hands without being completely irresponsible she's beautiful she's smart and she's totally kick butt so naturally she had to get my best female character of the month and for the best male character I actually gave it to Beck from the Nightingale now, if you guys have read this book, you know that Beck is actually the Nazi in this book. So while that may seem like a very interesting best male character choice for this video, let me tell you why I chose him. I loved how Kristen Hanna portrayed his character from more than just the enemy. He was more than just the bad guy. He actually had a lot of growth himself in this book. You could tell that he really cared for Vianne. Uh, just as much as he cared for his family and friends back at home. He had this like constant struggle to do what was right and what was given to him as an order. He was just such a strong and memorable character. I absolutely adored him and I caught myself multiple times throughout the story rooting for him. And since we're talking about the Nightingale, I want to go ahead and talk about the next thing, which is the best quote that I read this month. There were a lot of quotes that I really enjoyed in the month of March, but for me, one of my favorites definitely came from the Nightingale and it pertains to Beck. So if you guys own the hardcover, um, this actually is on page 271 and the quote that I absolutely loved says, but when he looked at her and she looked at him, they both knew that there was something worse than kissing the wrong person. It was wanting to. And why I love that quote so much was because it perfectly summed up all the slow burning romance and angst and just how conflicted Beck and Vianne were in that moment with their friendship and the relationship and the situation that they were in. When I read that, I was like, yes, girl, like this is the perfect summary of how this relationship was going down. Next, I wanna to talk to you guys about the best bad boy that I read in the month of March. I read a ton of books that dealt with the bad boy, good girl type of trope that we all read in YA contemporary books. Um, so there were a lot of bad boys to choose from, but one just stood apart from all the rest and that was Alex Fuentes from Perfect Chemistry. This was a reread for me in March and I absolutely adored it and enjoyed it just as much as I did the first time. Alex Fuentes is like the perfect bad boy. He is very loving and very protective of his family and his really close friends. But Alex is in a gang and this gang does not play around. They are vicious and they are brutal. The reason why he gets himself into these situations that may cause him harm is because he knows he needs to protect the ones that are closest to him and the ones that he loves, but it puts him in a bit of a predicament, but it definitely gives him the typical bad boy vibe. Not only is Alex like a bad mamma jamma, but he is super cute. He has that really awesome Hispanic accent that like makes all the girls swoon. And 
and he is hilarious. He has more qualities than just being that typical bad boy, which is why he was definitely the best one that I read in the month of March. The next book I want to talk to you guys about is The Best Unexpected Read, and this book was unexpected for multiple reasons, but I guess I should show you the book first. It's The Problem with Forever by Jennifer L. Armentrout. This is her new book that's coming out in May, which brings me to the first point of why it was an unexpected read for me because I wasn't expecting to read this until this summer. I actually found this in my free little library on my way to working an event, and I freaked out, guys. I'm not gonna lie. I freaked out and totally embarrassed myself, but that's okay. But yeah, so it was unexpected because I wasn't really planning on reading this anytime soon. And the other thing why it was an unexpected read for me was because I looked at this book and thought, wow, this is a beautiful cover. This is going to be a warm and fuzzy YA contemporary book. I'm super excited because I haven't read one of those by JLA. But friends, don't let this beautiful cover fool you because this is not a warm and fuzzy YA contemporary. I am going to do a non-spoiler book review closer to the time that this book comes out in May. But until then, I'm just going to go ahead and leave the link to this book's Goodreads page down below. But this book actually brought up a lot of conversations about PTSD and conditioning and mental illness. Like I said, it was just a lot more intense and deep than what I was expecting, but I love this book. That brings us to the last category, which was the best book that I read this month. And I'm actually giving that to Breathe by Abby Glines. This was the very first book that I read this month. This book kicked off me binge reading this series. I read like five or six Abby Glines books back to back because of this book. I absolutely loved the characters. They were easy to relate to. I loved their friendship and the love story. And I loved the setting of the book. Just pretty much loved everything about this book. And like I said, it made me want to read the rest of the series. I did end up taking a break because I started to feel a little jaded because the stories were all kind of meshing together, but I absolutely adored this first book. I rated it a five out of five stars and I did not rate a lot of books in the month of March of five stars. So this was just kind of a no brainer. If you guys like Abby Glines or if you guys like YA books or if you guys like a good love story, definitely check out Breathe by Abby Glines. I definitely think it's a good read for this time of year, especially since it's now spring and we're getting into summer. Yeah, it, it's a good read. I highly suggest it. Well, friends, that does it for my best in books for March. Let me know down below what your most unexpected read for the month of March was. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'm sure I will see you soon. Bye.